being a star. I mean, really, traveling around the world, I can do that anytime. I want to stay here and help you get the campaign going. That is amazingly generous of you. You'd really stay here for me? Well, of course I would. How could I ever repay you for that? Well, and that's not important. No, 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 it's very important to me. Maybe, uh, I have an idea. Do you know what this is? That's my contract. Yes, it's Valentine Lashray. Sue Ellen, what are you doing? Cutting you off, you viper. Came back to help me? You came back to help yourself. To my husband. Okay, Sue Ellen. Think what you may. But aren't you cutting off your nose to spite your face? You saw what your company was without me. It was nothing. We survived. We will again. What I don't understand is, uh, is why. A couple of months ago, I could have thrown you away like last week's garbage. Jerry, I wouldn't have said a word, but I didn't. Not only did I leave you with your self-respect, but I built a career for you. I made you into a star. Oh, yes. You built me. You made me. You gave me. You pulled my strings like I was some kind of a puppet is what you did. And you expect me to be grateful? I built you a company. No, lady. I built a company. Me. I bought it. I molded it. And I made it what it is. Oh, you were a terrific poster girl. Poster girl? But it takes more than that to succeed. You were useful. As a tool, that you're nothing more than a disposable piece of facial tissue. I'll show you how disposable I am when I leave Dallas with your husband. You know, Mandy, I am really happy that we had this little chat. Because now, for the first time, I fully realize it is not JR who needs you, it is you who needs JR. But I have a feeling that there isn't a winner in his future. Don't count on it, Sue Ellen. You'll hear from me again. 